Hey guys, what's up? It's like Superist here and today today we'll be reacting to something different. So over the past couple of months I've been reacting to just a slate of anime. Um but as you know, a new season has started. Uh, the spring season of 2024 started last month and there have been a lot of different anime from that slate that I really wanted to watch but I haven't had the time to actually watch them since I've been reacting to some some of the other anime uh, in my lineup so today I decided that I'm going to be watching one of the uh, anime from this season it's titled Hananoi kun to koi no yamai or in English it's a condition called love so in line with all that I've been reacting to it's also going to be like a romance comedy and I have seen a few posts about it online a few memes here and there but I, I didn't really get delve deeper into that because I wanted to watch it as candidly and as honestly as I can but I do know it's about romance and it's about Hana no Ikun so Today I'll be reacting to episode 1 of that. I'm going to be reacting to episode 1 of Hana no Ikun to Koi no Yamai. And so, without further ado, let's get on with it. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Alright, here we go. It starts with a snowy scene so it's probably going to be like winter a winter scene right away in a romance comedy that's very interesting usually it starts in spring by the way but this one starts in in winter and okay we have a female character walking and then encountering probably i would say is hana no kun i don't know who he looks like Miyamura! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, right. We're gonna listen to the opening. Okay, <laughs> that's a very, very interesting transformation right there. <laughs> but, but the girl, the heroine, the heroine though is is not well okay it's basically like a short-haired version of um hori <laughs> okay it's very interesting Ooh, nice beat interesting it's a lot hip-hop pop it's very that's very different usually from how openings go with romance comedies or romance anime right they never, they never really have this poppy, um, hip hoppy beat. Okay, so far I'm liking the the premise of it. I don't know how it's going to be, how the story is going to go, and how the characters are. You know, because that's really important for these kinds of, for these kinds of stories. You want to have good characterization and nice dialogue as well. Wow, we start off with something very deep. What does love mean to you? Okay, mm hmm To one person in life, your soulmate. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have thoughts about that, but I, we're going to we're going to talk about that later on. Okay, Hotaru. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. This is very different though from the premise of Horimiya because even though Miyamura actually kind of looks like him, he is not in anybody's radar because he kind of acts gloomy so everybody doesn't notice him. But then after he has the physical appearance, I mean, he has this physical transformation or he cuts his hair, becomes a lot fresher and kind of... uh hangs out with a lot of the popular kids, then people start noticing him. But this is a very different uh, take on it because people consider him part of the, 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 the cool kids, I guess you can say, right? The handsome guy. He's in the 99th percentile. 
And we we start off with a breakup. And yeah, anyway, I don't really want to delve. I don't want to. I don't want to be too long in this. You know, I don't, I don't want to dwell too much right now. I, I just wanted to take note of that. That it's it's so it's so it's such a stark contrast to. But I don't really want to compare. But still, he kind of looks like him. So that's uh, can't really avoid comparing. Anyway, so this is Hotaru, and she is a type who doesn't really care about romance. Very interesting. Okay, and here, so we have an airhead. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, that's a woman scorned. And I don't blame her because the way that he handled that breakup was a bit sketchy. You don't say that, right? You don't say that when you're breaking up with someone. I think they are the ones who get the most horrible breakups. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. I mean, that's good. It's a lot. It's a. It's a lot different though. The world of romance. Okay, I once thought that too. I once thought that too, and then there's the. the okay, that's really good. Okay. I'm starting to like it. It's not... Okay. It's not giving me those fuzzy feelings. But... I think it's 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 kind of propping it up for that. <laughs> okay. That... That expression... The expression in his eyes, obviously. We all know what it is, right? He fall he fell in love at first sight. My gosh. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going with here. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, we're gonna pause there because okay. I think it's very clear what the trajectory of this story is going to be. We have a girl who's never experienced love and a guy who's kind of like the most popular kid. The most popular guy, the, the most handsome guy that all the girls fall over. And obviously it's going to be like he falls in love with a girl who's never had any romantic experience. And she's going to learn about love from from him. Right? From being in a relationship with him. So that's... I don't know if it's going to be my cup of tea. I mean, in that sense. I mean, I like it. But I mean, I've, I've, I've seen some other... I mean, the ones that I've been that I've been watching over the past couple of months have been super exciting, super thrilling ride. This one seems a little bit more, a little bit more sedated, or or you know, cliched. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe some of you guys who've already watched this. So there are, I think, seven episodes of this already. So you guys know, or maybe you've read the manga. So let me let me let me know what you guys think about this about this anime and if I should continue with it because I mean I will continue with it. Uh, I, it's not like I'm going to just drop it, but you know, in the from the perspective of some someone who has been watching, you know, you you for you for some of you guys who have been watching the other stuff that I've been watching, um, you know, Kimi ni todoke boku yaba, those are top tier you have toradara as well so uh i don't know about about this it's new it's it's some it's it, it rem, the guy reminds me of miyamura we, we, that's my favorite romance anime romance comedy anime okay so ah uh, i don't know i don't really want to compare it but you know let's go on let's move on i don't want to <laughs> it's just so weird uh but yeah I want more surprises. That's what I'm I'm getting at. I don't want it to be just any your no you know your typical romance anime. I've I've seen some romance anime in the past already, so I don't want it to be so typical. But maybe I'm I'm my first impressions are getting ahead of me. I I, I don't want 
I don't want that to be affecting the way that I uh, would feel or would experience this anime. So yeah, let's just let's just keep. I'm just gonna keep an open mind, all right? And hopefully, it's gonna deliver. Maybe, maybe it's just the first episode, anyway. Wait, do I rem- th That voice sounds familiar. This guy is so smitten. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's why he's going to cut his hair. Uh huh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna say anything yet. I can imagine. Mm. I see. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> okay, I like this girl though. <laughs> He's just so in love with her. Yeah. Okay, I agree with him with that one. Okay, he's pretty smooth. Why? Why is that? Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Oh, you probably noticed it from the way that she was looking at that poster. Okay. Okay, this this guy seems way too good to be true. But I mean <laughs> This is this is romance anime, so like, it's always gonna be like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, got rid of him. Mm. Okay, that's a very good tr thing to have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, she didn't get it. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so it's her it's her falling in love story. Journey. Because he loves you. <laughs> He's smitten. Yeah, exactly. Because he believes in the soulmate stuff. I don't think- I, I just think he doesn't care that much about those kind of rules, I guess. Ah, uh, the hairpins. It's snowing outside. Oh, <laughs> now you- <laughs> Now you, 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 you had that. Maybe it really was important to her. You know, it would be very interesting if he actually stayed behind to look for it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. For how many hours has he been doing that? Is that the mom? He's 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 most likely there. Not a normal person. At this time, it's what like eight p.m. Uh, yeah. He probably he probably is. Oh my gosh. His ears are red. His nose is red. It's probably so cold and freezing. Okay. That's a better line, though. <laughs> Wait, does he sound like- doesn't he sound like Miyamura? Right? It does! His VA is the same as, I think. Uh, Miyamura. Maybe, but I'm not sure. There was still a teacher there? Oh, 
ゃんと雪が溶けてから探しに行ったよありがとうああ、だつわい大事なものってシュバううん、でもホタルちゃん同じものを大切に使ってるからなくなったら悲しいんじゃないかと思ってそっか Those are some special points there Okay. Also, yeah, that is. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so sweet. Her voice sounds familiar too. She smiled. <laughs> That's that's true. I agree with that statement. It's one of the joys of being human, I guess. She, her voice actor is. Is not the voice actor for. For for Sawako, is, is it? Or maybe not. I don't think so. But. Sounds a little. Still sounds familiar. I love the chill acoustic vibe of the ending song. In contrast to the more hip hop y vibe of the opening. Alright. Okay, that was. That was a good start. Um, it's. Uh, okay, as I said, I, I, those two voice actors sound familiar. I'm not sure. I feel like. Miyamura's voice actor is the one voicing Hananoi Kun, and、uh, I'm not sure who's voicing Hotaru, but I've, I've heard her voice before. I'm not sure if it's the, the girl from、um, Kimi wa Hokago no Insom Insomnia or、uh, Ofuri. 
the 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 main character in both three. I'm not sure who it is, but um, I, I for a moment there I thought it was Sawako's voice actress, but uh, I don't think it's her because she has this very pitchy voice. This girl has a little bit um, middle range, um, so I, I don't think it's her. I'm gonna just check it out later and see who their voice actors are because they're just really familiar anyway so the the premise of the show is very interesting it's not like it's a very unique premise because i mean a lot of other romance stories actually have that right you have somebody who has never experienced love at all who probably doesn't think that they'll ever experience love in their life and it's better for them not to and somebody who is i, I wouldn't say Hananoi, it, Hananoi kun is just so um, entrenched in the idea of love and romance that you know he has this uh, thought-provoking and profound idea of love. I don't think he does. I don't, I don't think he he is the type to be. I, well, I guess he is the the hopeless romantic type. I would say. And yeah, he's definitely the archetype of the hopeless romantic because. Look at what he just did. He changed his style, his appearance. He spent, I don't know how many hours it was, just looking for the lost hairpin, even though it was going to be detrimental to him. And yeah, I mean, the idea a while ago that he was talking about, the idea of having a soulmate, I mean, it's not like I, I disagree with that idea. Um, I don't, I don't believe that i mean okay i do think that everybody ha has the chance of falling in love but I, I don't i don't believe in the 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 way that traditionally the, the the concept of a soulmate is being um is being thought of as because when you think of that it's like there's just this one person in the whole wide world who is the only right one for you and if you don't find that person and if you don't cross paths with that person then you you're not going to experience romance at all and i don't think it's that i don't think it's it's like the, there's this person that you need to discover i mean you can still fall in love and be in a relationship with someone and they can be your soulmate i mean i don't i because i had this this um argument with my friend before about the the concept of a soulmate and i i it seems as though it's too I don't want to use the term deterministic because I do I do have thoughts about determinism but anyway it just seems to be too restrictive I would say right like the person that you fall in love with it that person can't be your soulmate if you don't click or if you don't if you know if the th if things don't go your way is it's like the idea of soulmates in romance is that everything should be ideal you know the whole story from beginning to end would be an ideal that no problems will arise i think that is the conception that uh I've heard or I've 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 uh, come across when it when when talking about soulmates and that's what I don't agree with that you know everything will just be so smooth uh, you know you won't be fighting at all because you know you're soulmates I don't I don't agree with that I don't I don't think that's how relationships work at all and I don't think that the definition of a soulmate should be that or it should include something or rather that it should exclude the the couple experiencing disagreements because that's that's part of the journey of falling in love and being in a relationship being in a romantic relationship and being in a committed relationship with someone is that you know you're going to accept them despite the differences that you have and even if you ha if you guys have disagreements or fights it's not going to affect the way that you feel for each other the way that you treat each other right if 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 you really love the person if you really are committed to the person that that that's not going to change the way that you you feel about them you're not just going to break up simply because you had one fight although if it's repetitive 
and it's irregular, then you might have to uh, reconsider. But, you know, once in a while that you fight or disagree about something, that's that's normal for for relationships, right? And that shouldn't be thought of as a bad thing. Rather, it should be a learning experience where you can grow and learn more about each other and learn how to compromise and and how to adapt to one to each other. So, yeah, I, I don't agree with that idea of, of soulmate, but I do think that, you know, if you fall for someone and, and that other person also falls for you, I think that's. I think that's what being a soulmate is. That's be what the concept of soulmates should be. You know, you guys fall in love. You both fall in love in a... I mean, yeah. It's not like it's something special. That, you know, everything is going to go your way. It's, that's, that's just not reality. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I really like this episode of, of Hana no Ikunto Koi no Yomai. Um, let, me, let, me guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I do have other things that I want to react to, and yeah, if you guys have any uh, any uh, suggestions or recommendations for me, because you know, I have been thinking about this uh, for the past month or so. I really want to watch a lot more and put out a lot more content out there, but I'm not sure which ones I should watch. So, if you guys have any suggestions, recommendations for me to watch, go and comment them down below. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.